welcome to my channel and welcome to um yeah a bit of a haul okay you can see it up, up there um christy and jeremy both put out a challenge to creators to show their pen haul uh yeah i've got it all in the front of me on the desk and it's just crazy so um Join me and um, I'll give you a tour. All right. Um, I'm going to try and go through the pens that I don't actually use um, first. So, and in no particular order. So that, you know, no kind of pecking order or anything else. But yeah, make some space. All right. Now these are from Donnie, I think. This one is from Donnie. This is one of those light up Duvalakis. It's actually, or maybe it's just the torch. I don't know if it's actually missing. It's nib. It could be. But either way, it does light up quite a bit. Uh, somebody was asking about replacement lights or batteries or something. Uh, no idea. You can, I think, buy them on AliExpress. Um, I'm not even sure what should have been in different bits of this. So I'm going to try and put them back where they came from, which is going to be hard. I actually store my stuff in um, mugs. Yes, this is not a drinking mug. This is um, unfortunately cracked down the side, so it's no longer a drinking mug. I have had to employ one of these 3D printed thingamajiggies because the fancy 3D pens that I actually use all the time got upgraded. This was one of my first holders. This is a mug. It's a mega mug from... Um, this design is by Nancy Higginbottom. Fancy Nancy. Um, so that became one of my first pen holders. As did this little old man. I have rarely used him to drink because I don't want him getting broken so my old man is um, a bit of a pen store so that's what I store my pens in nothing fancy and then I've got this of course this one fell off um, because I have to squeeze past my desk and one of the cup handles got smashed off but that's just my sharpie um, holder and scissors the big meaty scissors so I'm gonna try and put these away as I go through. So these pens um, were from Donnie. I actually liked the look of these as um, pens. She's converted them or Jim has converted them. Um, they are extremely light, much lighter than I expected actually. Um, I thought I was getting a heavier weighted pen. Haven't used these, but they are pretty. And I went for the spots and I went for the flowers. So Donnie is drill, print, drill Pen Frenzy. Now, before I go any further on this, if there are any pens that you particularly like, um, please either ask me in the comments or check through my accessories. Um, and my, sorry, my accessories playlist. Uh, it might also be in odd stuff. I do try and put a lot of these odd things in a playlist. Um, and check out those playlists and see if you can narrow it down. All the links are in those descriptions. So if you're looking for something in particular, um, either ask me or go and check those playlists. And you can actually see the official unboxing or unbagging and initial reaction. This is another one from Donnie. It's been converted and this is a heavier pen. It's a proper writing pen that's been converted, which I think most of Donnie's are actually. Um, so there's those. Uh, one of the... Uh, I'm just trying to think. I need that mug there. So, okay, we'll keep going with this or try. Um, this gorgeous pen is actually by Crashly. It's the flowers and it's using translucent, um, I was going to say dough, uh, clay. And then she's fired them, but there's the different textures and colours and everything in the flowers and it's just awesome. So yeah, 
Crashly is still doing that. And she did a rubber band pen as well. Uh, couldn't tell you how long ago I got those. Um, I don't use those either. Don't use these either. Uh, this, uh, these, I'm not actually sure where I got them all. Um, this one may have been a gift from Nana of Seven Crafts, um, possibly. Um, I think she sent me a clay pen that either she had made or she had been given or something like that. So excuse my vagueness. I'm not sure which one of these it may have been, but, um, they're all kinds of cool. But I've got to be careful where I put them. Oh, heavens. So all my tools and everything else, they actually get kept in predominantly one location. So I've got a working mug and that's now the big printed, 3D printed thingamajiggy. Um, all right, uh, this was a gift from Amber, Diamond, Diamonds in the Sky. Actually, I will move those. These two, now I actually got one like this from Victoria's Moon, Victoria's Secrets, as Jeremy calls them. Um, these are brilliant. I actually bought one, I think, myself um, many, many moons ago. And then I got one from wherever. Now, Sophie chewed the top of the wax off of one of these and I made the mistake then of throwing out the screw fitting. There are two different size screw fittings. The pen that I got from Victoria's Moon, I've got replacement heads for. But, and this one's got a bit of a wobble, so it actually drives me bonkers, but they aren't interchangeable because the tre thread is off by, I don't know, a millimetre or something, really annoying. Uh, so I don't have a replacement head for that. But these are really comfy pens. They're quite weighty. The narrow tip, you do need to be careful. You can put wax in it and you can shove the drills around with it. You do not need to use any pressure on this. So you might need to warm it just to get it a little bit tacky, especially if it's been, you know, dusty or whatever. Um, you might need to warm it, give it a bit of a clean, maybe even a wet wipe, haven't tried that, but I could. But these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant for rhinestones. So you dab it and pick it up with the wax end. You don't need any pressure and you stick it on and no pressure. And then you shove it with the pointy bit and you put the pressure on with the pointy bit or the skinny end. So these are really, really handy pens. They are used in nail art all the time. Um, but you do need to be careful with the wax heads. You can get replacements, but the thread might not match. So you need to be a bit careful. And I gave a scathing review to the AliExpress store who sent it to me because they didn't have sizes on their threads. And I don't know what the hell happened to that. Um, this was a pen I ordered and I'm not sure who it came from. Um, I apologize. Um, but it was a fluffy pen that came with something and I can't recall. Um, this is a, oh, it's a two head, right. I think I bought that or I was given that from, might've been given that from Sherry. It's got blue wax in the end, which is quite handy. So you can load your pen and it stores and it stands. Uh, mm, can't show you it's standing, but yes, anyway, it stands and it's quite cool. Um, this is a writing pen. Um, 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 okay, now these, I'm not sure the origin of these. <laughs> of course I ordered them. This is a steel tip, so I don't know if it's an everlasting tip. It doesn't say anything, so I'm not sure if the purple is... Um, I'm not sure where it's from. Apologies. Uh, this is a black and white ribbon and again it could be from diamond pens but it's very very thin um, I don't think I think I purchased this one as well but sorry I can't recall where and the red and blue may be a diamond art club pen but it doesn't say diamond art club on it so again not sure where they came from 
these are Diamond Art Club pens. These have the Diamond Art Club written on them. So you've got the pale blue, I don't know what they call them. You've got the pink glitter. And if you see just at the top there where the shine kind of goes, um, you can see that it's engraved or etched with Diamond Art Club. And then this one has a bit of a kink. Um, it's got a bit of a bow. So there's those. Uh, this one may have been a gift as well from Nana, which is the red twisty pen. It's not as polished as uh, some pens can be, um, but it's nice. Uh, let's get my junk out of the way. Okay, these are pens I did myself, I think. Um, went to the dollar store or our equivalent in Australia and bought these. So there's one with a rainbow. I made this one out of clay. So I've got, I think it's a white Sculpey clay and just a purple and orange. And then I coated it. I did do the ends quite fat to be able to hold them um, comfortably. And I did two of them. So I, I didn't know what I was doing really. So I did, that one and then I balled the end and then I twisted that one off center or something and um, tried to do a similar kind of shape I don't use them purple and orange is a bit of a thing in the house so um, so that's why I did the purple and orange um, I think I converted this as well this is just a daisy I wanted to see how easy it was to do uh, that's a writing pen, but I liked it for the top. I was actually going to swap out the nib and couldn't get through all the fluff and feather to get into it. Um, these are also pens I think that I converted. So it's a flamingo head and a parrot head. I did buy more, but then I found that I couldn't convert them for whatever reason. They may just not have been the kind of pens that you can rip the guts out of or something or they did a thing I don't know um these I think are all from Happy Hippo Finds now for pen conversions I found that Elizabeth Wheeler is the best value for money and I think these are all hers. That one may not be. I don't recall. Um, anyway. I'm showing these as if they are hers. There was the little dumpy pen. That might have been from... Donnie? I'm not sure. Um, or, or else it was Elizabeth. But I thought, yeah, it's really cool. But it is very, very light. Uh, if you don't like light pens, obviously don't go there. But if you do like light pens go there um unicorn and i got these more for the, the things on top than the ability to be able to use the pens uh, uh orange sheep i think these are all elizabeth's look at the bling 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 this is a screw top lid that's been converted gorgeous pen quite rough on the hands uh blue giraffe because you know Cactus, because he has the googly eyes. Dinosaur. Sophie used to play with these pens when she was a little bit younger. Um, I'll hold off on that one. Um, another little blue giraffe. Not sure if this is one of mine or um, Elizabeth's. Uh, green sheep. I had to get a green sheep. I think it's more a llama, but is it was got for me as a green sheep. Um, if there are any pens in particular you would like her to hunt for you, she will do that. Uh, I think this was from... This may be from her or it may be from um, Rachel. I'm not 100% sure, but the, the diamond bling. All kinds of cool. Nice bit of weight behind that. And then the mermaidy dangly shells. I think it was also from Elizabeth. Um, now this one, this one may be the square tip. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, this was from AliExpress. You didn't have a choice in the topper, I don't think. But So this was a girl with long hair. And I bought it for a square tip. And it looks like somebody's just got a round tip and hammered it onto a square form. Rubbish. You do not need a square tip if you're going to do squares. Um, just get a pen. All right, so let me try and shove them out of the way. Okay. Now, these are from our gorgeous girl, Rachel. So the flowers with the, yeah, it's a thing. Again, haven't actually used them. These are quite tall. She was actually looking for inners to be able to keep them stable um, at one point. These though, I keep, well, I actually keep this one handy. This one sits on my desk constantly because it goes and it does the touchpad on the phone all the time. But I bought this first because I wanted the purple and I don't think she had the purple in stock when I first went to get it. So I got the red, but the purple was because I like the purple. Um, but the tappy tops are brilliant for being able to use your phone, especially with me with the long fingernails. Um, these change color those two. Uh, I had to get the shamrock clover because, you know, I'm Irish uh, in the green. But these change colour in the sunlight. Um, I can't remember what they do. They might go pink. Um, but one is, if I can hold it still, it's got tiny pale yellow kind of stamens inside. It's a little bit glary. The light's very grey and horrible outside. So there's the yellow. And then the tulip seems to be changing colour as I'm lifting it up. So, <laughs> the bouncy thing. Yeah, too much fun. Sorry. Okay. Um, now, I think these are from Timor. Now, I can't swear that the diamondy one is, but there's a chance it might be. This came as a gift, and I think I subsequently went and bought these, or got... Yeah, I think I got these. So... The idea with this is to put corn flour on the um, the outside edge of the sticky to get rid of the sticky on the canvas when you're finished. Um, this pen here feels beautiful. I, I have actually on occasion just used it as a bit of a fiddle and I'll sit here like this just back and forth. <laughs> it's very cathartic. Um, it's, it's really, really beautiful. If you've ever played with paint, not with paint, with paint brushes, uh, yeah, you'll know what I mean. But it's got a pointy tip, so yeah, that's what these are basically for. They're for a war, um, dusting the sticky stuff afterwards to make the sticky not sticky anymore when you're finished. Um, a mermaid tail pen, I think it came from her. I could be wrong, and this is possibly oh i can't remember no because it's got the plastic tip i can't remember it's got a straightener on it and it's got the plastic tip don't use it this was a win from uh tia <laughs> my little mini <laughs> it's so small i don't know how anyone uses the things this small it actually fits in your hand you know and you could actually get away with using it because you know in all reality you're not holding a foot long pen in your hand you know yes you might flip but it's actually quite dinky and quite small you can get fatter ones of those little pens too and they're pretty good um yeah so there you have it um these are rich craft pens now i think these are one of the first resin pens that i actually got um not necessarily this particular one i may have actually got this one or this one as a first, one of the purples. But Rich, um, Richard Green, he's in the UK and he has done these. They're fairly simple in form. Um, I don't know if he was the first kind of pen turner. He's certainly early in my history for pen turning. And he was just doing these and he was doing them out of the UK. Really helpful. He's got a bit snowed under. I think life has just gone a bit tits up for them um, and then they started branching out into 3d stuff and wooden lazy daisies and things like that so um rich has a group um 
Isn't it the same thing? No, it just starts trying to kind of like hold the boat kind of trying. Oh. Yeah, okay, life went crazy. Right. Um, so yeah, and then there was a, a green. But they, um, the, the fat purple is very, very fat. Um, it, much more different than the other ones. Um, and then there's the, I don't know what, I think I got it because of the orange and I thought it was purple or something. But the swirls are really, really cool. And this then is a pen, a proper pen. I use this for my writing at my desk. But this is turned by Richard um, as a Lazen pen. So um, it's a proper quality writing pen. You buy the kit and he turns the wooden barrel. And I love that to bits. Um, we're actually getting there. This is a uh, Jim's Handmade Pens pen. Uh, so we've got the wooden barrel, we've got the clear, and we've got the blobby yellow blue uh i was confusing it thinking that maybe it was from enablers outpost but um when i was checking back through my videos just to see who's is who's because i've forgotten um i realized that this was a gym so again all those videos in the playlist and i'll put something up in the eye uh these are two and my only two pens from redneck beauty i actually bought this one, the Illuminati, is what she calls it. It's aluminium. I think I weighed it. It's 70 odd grams. A normal pen is about 45 grams. So quite weighty in that aluminium. It's much longer as well than um, other pens. I don't know if she turned this or Terry turned this. Um, I think Terry is now doing the Texas Tips. Which are these? And they come with two washers, if, if memory serves me correctly. I do have an everlasting tip as well. Or maybe one of those is an everlasting tip. Maybe I didn't get it. Um, maybe I only got the single placer from um, Redneck at the time. Um, Everlasting tips are the steel tips from Australia. They're about 40 bucks each, um, but they are steel. They don't come with the little rings, so I think I've ended up putting tape on them or something. Um, I have replaced all the fat heads on my pens with the skinnies. I hate the fat heads. Just, I can't put the drills down with them, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so this is a, this is an everlasting tip. Yes, this is an everlasting tip and I put tape into it. Um, yeah, I think it was just the single maybe that I got from Red and they've got the two little washers that, which are really, really handy. This is Bethlehem Olive. Um, this is actually from a sustainable industry over in the Holy Land. This was hand turned by Lays and Lathe Works. I do have other pens by Daniel Oleander. Ol Oleander. I keep on make, making a mess of his last name. Anyway, I have got other pens from Lays and Lathe Works. I think um, I have ordered from him in the past. Service is really quick. He is very much on the ball. And um, this was a Bethlehem olive that he had on his page. Somebody put a photo up of it and it was like... Oh my goodness, I did not know that you could get blanks from Holy Land. So um, what they do is they prune the trees on a regular basis and they sell the chunks of wood then to wood turners. So yeah, um, you actually get a card certifying that it is Bethlehem Olive. All right. Um, Enablers Outpost, Edward turns these pens. Oh, I actually got confused. When I unboxed this, I'm very sorry, Beth. Um, this is actually a glow-in-the-dark pen. And I took a photo last night on my keyboard and then got it to glow just from my normal overhead lights. Uh, it turned all the lights off and it, you know, glowed. But during the day, it just looks like it's got dust in the pen. It's so cool. Now, Enablers Outposts do thicker than a snicker pens 
okay so they are thicker than your normal pens in the main um, so if you're after a chunky pen you've got arthritis you've got any hand issues enablers outpost is a very much your go-to store um, Beth and um, Edward are in they're in here um, um, it's not Virginia it's the other one North Carolina Ah, oh, help <laughs> she's got one of those that she puts in with the mail and oh my god all the goodies that she sends you as well um, yes you you're in for a treat if you buy from Beth um, so there's the glow in the dark there are some amazing blanks in the store by the way um, and coming in and everything else now this was a custom piece that we worked together in I wanted a wood burl I wanted a bit of green and I wanted the gypsophila and there were two or three I think that actually passed muster and this was the one that I picked it had more of a emeraldy green Ireland kind of thing um, so yeah all kinds of pretty not as thick as the glow-in-the-dark pen then there's this behemoth <laughs> this is huge this is a giant giant pen very very chunky it's got purple and orange glitter because you know browns purple and orange it's a thing in the house okay just trust me on that so um edward can do a number of different shapes and everything else and i think they recently got a captivity ring tool so that they can do the captivity rings and this was they went to a store or wood turner um, dude who they bought some blanks from and this is iron wood a wood turner dude yes as opposed to a wood turner chick anyway right. this is iron wood iron bark i think it's iron wood and i wanted the two tone with the wood uh, again beth sent me photographs to see which one I actually liked and I chose this one there was one that kind of was a bit more of an angle or something or had less of a black um, piece of um, tone to that wood so that was the piece that I went with but again she sent me photos and I said yeah your nay it was so cool all right now I think all of these <laughs> yeah I know it, it, it's kind of insane I think all of these are from Diamond Pens in Canada, Canada. Um, I, early in the piece, bought from Diamond Pens same time or similar time as I was buying from Richard, um, from um, Richcraft. The, these, these, hmm. No, I think that was a win. These might have been like a custom order, those four, uh, that you put your name down on the list and you get picked in order of the name going down and they give you a heads up saying, hey, we're about two weeks away from your order. Have a look at the blanks in Beartooth Woods and they can order them in for us. And then they make up the pens and they ship them and you know bob's your uncle so i think these were more kind of halloweeny kind of things again the purple and orange thing being a thing and you picked the shape of the pen as well so they have a page photo on the custom album that you can pick zero or one to eleven in pen uh, size choices so that you've got the size You've got the bumps, you've got the curvy bits, so the curvy waists. Um, you've got a bit more of the bumps, you've got the four bump, all of that kind of thing, and they come in different widths. So again, I was back and forth with, uh, I can't think of her name now, in Diamond Pens, um, saying, look, I don't like the overly thick pen, and she says, I oh, will go for that number then. Um, so I did that. So there's this one, which is the purple and orange kind of pen. Uh, this one, again, is more orange, but there's a lot less kind of 
pinky purple in it than I think I had wanted. It's quite tricky sometimes ordering off blank. Uh, this one might have been a win. Now, how the wins work is that you go into the photos and you put down me please and then they go through the me pleases and they draw the winner and then the winner pays for the pen that's how the wins work um that's separate to an order this was my first win of um diamond pens and this is citrine orange mesh is the name of the blank and it's phenomenal it's got so much happening in it like it's got this swirly bit with the mesh and the I don't know what it is whether it's plastic or I think it's plastic but it's in the resin and it's all kinds of cool that was my very first um, resin pen from diamond pens and a hot favorite for a long time uh, no idea what this one's called you'd have to go back through my videos to find it it's brown and mottled and I may have won this um, on the page uh, Again, another orangey purple kind of rainbow. I can't remember. Again, go through my pages. Uh, this one I think is called Melon Stripe. And it's got a couple of the, I haven't got any with the captivity rings, which are kind of fidget rings. Uh, don't know what this one's called either. It might just be black and white or something but it's got the black swirl through it I don't know how they do it it's, it's kind of cool how they get those swirls in the resin stuff um yeah don't know what this one's called orange black um and yeah it's a skinny um just a thicker end on each end and I have no idea where this one came from it may have been uh, diamond pens or it could be a diamond pe um, diamond art club <coughs> I don't recall um yeah so they're all my pens now I've got to try and put them all back so that I can you know, find my hot favorite I may have pens in here that shouldn't be in here they, they did kind of fit before but that's my go-to jar and then on this one, I keep um, a couple of pliers, spare tweezers, my working pen, my chunky pen for writing or for marking off, blocking off my address, my sticky scissors that only touches the sticky. This is my tool for scoring my double and my adhesive cover. Uh, that's a letter opener in the shape of a eucalyptus leaf. I've had that for years. Um, this is the pen that I use to write on my cards for my drills. Um, yeah, so they're my kind of go-to jars. The, sorry, these two. So this is my tool jar, my pen. Um, this mug here doesn't tend to get used out of but this is my go-to all the time so this is my kind of pen stash my active pen stash and you can see that there's quite a few of these tips because I got rid of all the fat tips only fairly recently I haven't actually put wax or I use blue tack um, in all of my pens have done have tried paddy wax didn't really get it to work for me I uh, tried doing the whole warming thing, but I found when I reloaded the pen, the bit that I reloaded would come off with the drills. So that was quite frustrating. So that was more a me thing than a paddy wax thing. I know some people out there absolutely love it. And the smell is just incredible. So I was thinking of converting them into melts um, and melting them on my, my melt um, candle thing in Majiggy. So yeah, um... Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, challenge accepted, um, Christy and Jeremy. Um, do you think I have enough? <laughs> yeah. The pens yes. are so pretty. <laughs> he says yes. Yes. Trust him to be sitting there when I'm going through a stash. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't he? Well, next up, my <laughs> collection of burnt matchsticks. <laughs>
<laughs> right. He's mean. All right. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not putting your collection down. I'm putting my collection down. Look, that's a fantastic container you've got. There. I know. It's obviously a very highly rated. It needs to be bigger. Oh. Yeah. I think that was as big as it goes on this printer. Yeah, possibly. We were trying to experiment with. Yeah, we were tr we were trying to experiment with a rainbow um, filament, and it printed all the way up and only just got half a color change. <laughs> yeah, it's very long. To, you've got to do a huge job to get a good transition in the rainbow filament, but it's really handy from a storage point of view when mugs were not <laughs> clear, mugs are clearly not big enough. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to finish my tea and um, maybe get some diamond painting in. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on any of the pens, please ask. I will dig through my accessories list and find out who I bought the items from. Uh, you're going to have to probably give me the time area that I showed it in to make sure that I'm looking for the right pen. Uh, it, that would really help me. Uh, otherwise, go back through my accessories list. I have itemized most of my videos where I'm unboxing pens. By the way, um, the burnt matchsticks, I did have to throw those out. He threw out the burnt matchsticks. Okay. Because okay. The, uh, the bent nails were taking up so The room. bent nails. Don't, th 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 that's a grandfather question. That's a grandfather story even. All right. Um, so if you, yeah, if you have any questions, please ask me. Um, I don't. I will try my best to link everybody in the description. Um, but we've got Happy Hippo Finds, we've got Drill Pen Frenzy with Donnie, we've got Lace and Lathe Works, we've got Jim's Handmade Pens, we've got Diamond Pens, Pen Z, P E N Z Z, um, Diamond Pens, we've got. Um, Enablers Outpost, Redneck Beauty, Rachel Ray Craft, um, Crashly, Crafts with Crashly, uh, AliExpress, Hit and Miss, Wayne Zhao is selling big time on Moon Crescent, Moon Resin, whatever it is. Um, be careful maybe from some of those. Um, who else? Lays and Lathe Works, Richcraft, um, and there are more. I haven't got BFF pens. I haven't got uh, one of. There's one linked with Mrs. Coffee and Rachel's group. Um, I can't. It's James Caven Cavender. Haven't had one of his yet. Um, would like to. He actually does live videos of him doing the wood, wood turning and it's really, really nice getting into James's head. Um, so yeah, but there are, pff, there's so many pen turners out there at the moment. And there are some amazing, amazing blanks. The, um, I think it's the flower, flowers, flower chick. She does flowers in hers kind of like this. Um, there's somebody else who Mrs. Coffee showed recently and she's got like, uh, I was going to say Play-Doh, but not quite Play-Doh, but she's got these 3D um, Finding Nemo's and, and things like that uh, in them. Um, yeah, the sky's the limit. Check out, there's a few of these people, on a few of us creators putting videos up at the moment that you will you know hear from different stores so go and check those out if you need to put in a uh, diamond pen stash into the search engine of YouTube and you should get them come up I'm not sure where Christy and Jeremy are linking these videos and Christy you slacker you're only doing your video now and I got reminded because Mrs. Coffee put her video up now and I've meant to do it but I was running out of time in the month to be able to put it up so I'm not sure if there's a deadline so you will see quite a few of us creators putting pen videos up. So kind of happy to show my pen hole, but holy cow, it's huge. But these are my babies, my resins. All right. Bye. Talk to you soon and see you on the tubes. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. 
and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.